Hello from Tipco, my name is Jose Levegirre and I am here to give you a quick overview on what are Tipco Spotfire mods from the developer's perspective. Mods is a framework to extend Spotfire capabilities, in particular for creating custom visualizations that look and feel like native Spotfire charts. The mod concept is short for modification and comes from the gaming community for the process of altering one or more aspects of a video game. In the Spotfire context, developers can create sophisticated visualizations that can be used like native visualizations with no code required by the user. Let's look at a couple of mods in action. In this guided analysis, I see customer purchase transactions for three years worth of data. Look at the bottom right, this, this uh, spider chart, how is showing the strongest months in sales. I can maximize this and change to category, and I can see also which is my strongest product during these two years. Now let's move to a different mod. In this network chart, I can see the relationship of product frequently bought together. Look at how can I can zoom in and out, pan, and this visualization shares similar settings as the other ones. This is the standard settings. I can change the, the title, the data, and uh, many other options. But I, I can also have my custom visualization features where I can customize my visualization while programming my mod. So now that you understand what are Spotfire mods and you see a couple of them in action, I wanna show you how a Spotfire mod file looks like and how to use them. So here in this folder, I downloaded some of these mods, most of them from the community, from the Tico community and some others I downloaded myself. Look how lightweight they are. They ran a couple of kilobytes, maybe a couple of megabytes. And in order to use them, I open a Spotfire. I have to have some data ready and then I just drag and drop my mod into the analysis. And uh, now I have a mod up and running. I don't have to do anything else. All I have to do is maybe configure with the properties. I have custom properties right here, or I can just use the selectors as I wish. I can move it around. It's just like any other visualization. Let me open another mod. Let's try this bump chart. Okay. so. Once I have my mod in the analysis, I can save and embed the mod. The, the mods will be embedded in the analysis and I can share the analysis with it. If the Spotfire mod is trusted, then it's going to prompt the user that opens the analysis if he trusts the mod as you will do with any other script. I can also share them in the library. I can just go ahead and, and uh, open my visualization flyout right here. Sorry. And these are the two mods that I added. I can click here and then I, I can save them into the library. It's a good practice to save your mods into a mods folder. So here I have my bump chart, I save my file there and now I will have the mod available in the library for anyone in the organization to use. It's a good idea to keep them there because if the mod version changes, anyone using this mod will get notified if there is an updated version of the mod. Now you know what are Spotfire mods, how to get them and use them. In the next video, I will show you how mods are created, what tools and skills you need in order for you to get started. Remember to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to ask any questions that you might have so we can keep creating content for you. That's it.